Well, here's my haul from the estate sale for about 60 bucks. Pretty much half price. Plus, I knew the people personally. Now, this was truly an estate sale like Retro Chad would go to. You don't see too many often that have lots of good stuff. Now, the only radio that I even dare plug in is this one. Because these are usually quite sturdy. And this actually has pretty good performance on it. It's a Zenith AM FM. Right now it's picking up a lot of AM stations. Although this isn't working. It was a second ago and it stopped. I think the rope broke. And this fund will pay off, but this is that is this uh, the CGM focus fund. I don't know where the hum is coming from. For an AM radio, it picks up a lot of channels. Ministry. And workshops will cover a full range of topics, including a Q&A session by our conference leader. This is a tone control. And critique of select drama groups. A special performance by Push Physical Theater. And keynotes by Bob Hope Comedy. Ride, baby, ride. That was uh, six bucks. It's actually in quite nice shape. I'm not even going to dare to plug in any of these Bakelites. They are just too old and the cords are really bad. I did pick up the Fasco. I picked up this clock because it looks just like the one that my grandmother had in her kitchen when I was real little. Picked up this uh, Channel Master cassette deck for a buck. It has a vinyl case, vinyl microphone case with the original microphone. I couldn't get the case on because it had been left out of the case so long. The case shrank a little bit. So I'm going to leave the case out in the sun. It's vinyl, so it should soften up a little bit. And then I'll put the tape recorder in the case after it's been out in the sun. This GE is pretty beat up and that, but I'm going to use the parts to repair the GE that I have that was the uh, transplanted radio. It should have pretty much the same capacitors and, and parts in it. Obviously isn't worth restoring. This is a nice Delco set. It's kind of hard to see because of the sun, a little bright out. This is a really nice Bakelite Zenith. I really like the dial on that. This is a Bendix. I call it the toaster because it looks like a toaster. If it were chrome, You'd think it's a toaster, but it's in perfect condition. And there's a nice little silver tone. And of course, for all you fan buffs, Mac Daddy of the Hall is this. 100% vintage, 100% metal. Westinghouse fan, two speed. And again, it has a Sunbeam cord. I don't know if Sunbeam made the cords for many different fan manufacturers. But like my Zero, it has what appears to be the factory Sunbeam cord. This was actually in the attic, in the window. But it was priced. And it has the expansion grates with it. There's very little rust. It should clean up quite nicely. 
but I think it does need a good oiling. It takes a while to start up. There's high speed. And low speed. And like a lot of my fan videos, they seem to sync frame rate with the camera. With the sun shining on it, it looks like the fan's hardly moving. But this fan is actually running on low. Real nice fan for seven bucks. speed. Of course back before everybody was so happy and companies were so chicken and scared, window fans didn't used to have cages on the outside. They would assume that you'd have a window screen that would protect the fan from anything hitting it. And there's my low one more time. And my off. I'm not even going to repaint this. I'm just going to clean it good and put some oil on it so it doesn't rust. It looks good the way it is. So this is pretty much my haul. I may just sell these on eBay when times get better. Except I really like this one because it looks like a toaster, the Bendix. And I already have a radio out being restored at a radio restoration firm. And I may try tackling one of these myself. I already showed the Fasco running at the house. This is a Delco. Assuming back when Delco Electronics was part of GM. This actually looks like they painted it. It's got brush marks. So I don't know if that originally was black. No, it doesn't look like it was originally black. It's actually quite clean inside, too. But the cords are just totally, totally rotten. I think all of these sat on a shelf in their basement for, for well over 40, 50 years. Except the Zenith. Looks like it was still in use and worked fine and almost matches the other Zenith I have in the house that it's almost like a salesman sample radio looks like a mini console so there's my haul definitely something for retro Chad to check out as he likes this kind of stuff